Hello children, today we are going to study about microorganisms. Microorganisms are the very tiny organisms which we cannot see with our naked eye. So we are going to study about microorganism. These organisms are very much very tiny which we cannot see with our naked eye. They are seen only under the microscope. They are seen only under the microscope. The study of microorganism, the study of microorganism is called is called microbiology. Is called microbiology. And the person who study about microorganism. Studies about microorganism is called is called a microbiologist. Is called microbiologist. So it can be seen only with the help of a microscope. The study of microorganism is called microbiology. Person who studies about microorganisms are called microbiologist. So let's let's see where these microorganisms occur. Okay. So where is its occurrence? So let's see the occurrence. So you can see it in pond, lake. River, air, water, deserts, snow, glaciers, etc. So, altogether, we can say that it is found everywhere. Microorganisms are found everywhere. So, everywhere in the environment. Okay. So next we are going to study about what are included. So what are all we call it as microorganisms. What are all we call it as microorganisms. So what are all called as microorganisms. So it includes five categories. First one is bacteria, second one virus, third one fungi, fourth one protozoans, the fifth is algae. Okay, so next we are going to study about the virus and its structure. Viruses are the minute particles and they contain the protein coat. They contain the protein coat and they are intermediate. Intermediate between living and non-living organism. So they are considered as living and also non-living organism. So under unfavorable condition, unfavorable condition, they remain inactive. They remain inactive and under favorable condition, they remain active. So they are considered as an intermediate between living and non-living organism. So next, in Latin, virus means poison. Virus means poison and study of viruses is called study of virus called virology. Study of viruses is called virology. So next, we are going to study about the structure of the virus. So by 
virus it has the genetic material so every human beings are the viruses so they will be having the genetic material so we have the genetic material dna so viruses will be having the genetic material dna or the rna and this dna and the rna are made up of the are surrounded by the protein coat they are surrounded by protein coat so here you have the dna it is surrounded by the protein coat and this protein coat is made up of protein and in some the protein coat is made up of protein lipids and carbohydrates they are made up of proteins lipids and carbohydrates and this protein envelope so they are surrounded by the protein envelope and this protein envelope have the spikes the protein envelope will be having the spikes so which helps the virus to attach themselves to the host so these spikes helps in the attachment attachment with the attachment to the attachment to the host so these are the character and they live the, that is that they are intermediate between the living and the non living things non living things so let's study about the living characters of the viruses multiply or reproduce inside the host cell and make copy of themselves multiply within the host cell host cells and make copy of themselves shows irritability shows irritability so the characters living characters of viruses are they respond to heat chemical and radiation they multiply within the host cells and make the copy of themselves and they shows irritability okay next we see uh, that is learn about the non living characters non living characters of this viruses so non living character they remain inactive they remain and inactive when they are free in environment they remain inactive when they are free in the environment okay first point and second point they can be crystallized crystallized and stored for a longer time stored for longer time like other non living things they can be stored or crystallized and can be stored for a longer time like non living things and third one here the cytoplasm is absent the 
third one the cytoplasm is absent and fourth one the viruses can produce that is diseases diseases in plants animals and also human beings okay non living characters they are inactive when they are free in the environment and they can be crystallized and stored for a longer time like other non living things and cytoplasm is absent here and viruses can causes diseases in plants animals and human being and next we are going to study about the bacteria and its structure cellular organism prokaryotic that is without the cells without nuclei they are the first formed organisms on the earth and the study of is called bacteriology the study of bacteria is called bacteriology so based on the uh, respiration bacteria based on respiration divided into aerobic bacteria and and aerobic bacteria so this aerobic bacteria they need oxygen for survival and if if you don't get any oxygen surely it will die and this anaerobic bacteria they does not need no need oxygen so if they get oxygen this anaerobic bacteria will die so let's see about the uh, that is the structure of the bacteria bacteria structure they are 1 micrometer to 5 micrometer bacterial cell consists of an outer membrane so which is called the cell wall and it contains the nuclear material it contains the is the nuclear material so which is represented by nucleoid which is represented by nucleoid so without the nuclear membrane without the nuclear membrane and it also has an extra chromosomal dna extra chromosomal dna so which is called the plasmid is called the plasmid is present so apart from that the protein synthesis protein synthesis is done by 70 years ribosomes 70 years ribosomes and cell organelles uh, cell organelles like mitochondria or endoplasmic reticulums are absent here and usually they move with the help of flagella they move in the, with the help of flagella so and above the surfaces you have small pyline uh, that is structures so which are called pyline 